Hello, everybody, and happy day. Happy birthday. Now, I've been a vegan for 28 years, and I've always had an interest in longevity. Matter of fact, as far back as when I was around 17, I remember thinking I wanted to live to 100. I always wanted to get the most out of life that I could, and I saw it as a challenge. I figured the longer you can live, the better. The more time you have, the more success you will have. The more things you can do in this world, and I still think the exact same way, and I'm on my way there. I'm halfway there, age 55, and I've been living large. You can see that in my 1100 videos. We're at Miracle Mile, we're flat broke, but hey, we're, we're doing it now. So because I have this interest, it gives me pleasure to bring to you today a vegetarian who has never eaten meat in his life that tomorrow will turn 100 years old. December 15, 2023. John Scharfenberg. We're going to be interviewing a very special guest. And I'm delighted today to have here in the Amazing Facts Studios, Dr. John Scharfenberg. Dr. John, Hi. welcome. And you're also, I think, eminently qualified to talk to us about longevity because you're 99 years young. He's going to share some life-changing information about some of the seven keys to a longer life. I was a, on the secretariat of the Interdepartmental Committee on Nutrition for National Defense. That was the top nutritionist in the country. And we did surveys of all of our allies around the world. Now, I didn't mention you were also with San Bernardino. Well, I was in charge of the San Bernardino County Health Department. Dr. John's got uh, an abundance of experience. He's a physician, nutritionist, and professor of nutrition for years at Loma Linda University, a graduate of Harvard U University School of Public Health. You are director of the Pacific Health Education Center. Too much meat and sugar? Yeah. Then they added to it uh, hypertension mm -hmm. and high cholesterol in the blood. Yeah. But it, you wouldn't have to worry about those if you did the first five, because those all help to decrease the thing. Be careful what you eat and stay away from what? Animal products. Uh, well, the vegetarians are living much longer than other people. The jury is in. If you're a vegetarian, you're going to have less disease and you're going to live longer. That's right. Now, if I remember right, the Bible says that was the original diet for man, a vegetarian diet. So it's, it's like we were designed for that diet, and if we cooperate with that design, we're going to live longer. Yeah, that's right. right? It don't matter if you're black or white. Here's a look at some of my videos on aging. Here's a famous chef who died before he was 50. Here's famous Dr. Berg. He talks about the benefits of a low carb meat diet, meat and eggs. And look at what he looks like. Especially compared with me. He's got a couple million subscribers. And here I am dispelling myths about carbs and fruit and getting less than 100 views. More volume. Of course, one of the big killers in the world is diabetes right now, and it seems like it's an epidemic. Uh, but see, with these seven risk factors, yeah, diabetes has decreased 88 percent. So some people can reverse their diabetes, certain types? We know we can reverse it. We can even reverse atherosclerosis. I found in an interview where John Scharfenberg talked about calcium, and I'm going to throw this in here because one of my latest videos had OK Raw's John Kohler talking about calcium in a way that I disagreed with. 
And here, Scharfenberg agrees with me that you don't need the RDA and calcium. First, check out OK Raw, what he said. Calcium, definitely better than the first fruitarian, but still not meeting the calcium needs. He mentioned the person's calcium was really low, but he's using the RDA as a standard. And he should know that those numbers are not what you need. He did get one thing right about the RDA. The letters stand for recommended daily allowance. It, that's what's recommended for the overall population. And calcium in particular is set very high. That's because of the epidemic of osteoporosis. Earlier, he said that RDA was recommended daily allowance. But did you hear what he said here? They didn't meet their protein requirements. It does not meet the recommended daily allowance. Their protein requirements, recommended daily allowance. Protein requirements, recommended requirements. The RDA is a recommendation, but it's not a requirement. This is based on government recommended numbers. Now, whether you believe them or not, you could say, oh, I don't believe those. We need way less protein. You know, well, then I'll say good luck to you. <laughs> And now here's the 100-year-old guy. <laughs> I'm speaking more often now to people who are total vegetarians, mm -hmm. don't use milk or eggs. Yeah. Now, how do you get your calcium? If you get, say, 525 milligrams a, uh, a day, you have enough. You have no excess risk of a fracture. Yeah. Now, how do you do that? Natural way. You cut your salt intake in half. That controls the excretion of, of the calcium. Oh. Make sure you get enough vitamin D. Your blood levels are up properly. You will absorb two to three times more. Article from a couple weeks ago, killer whales are not our friends. Now, at first, that sounds like a negative thing, but down kill or else. But it's not. Check it out. The article says, basically says, why should they be our friends? In recent months, orcas are ramming boats. The, I the animals have already sunk three, damaged several more. Looks like they knew exactly what they were doing to a creative new theory about why they're happening. Vengeance. <laughs> Actually, it's, that's an interesting theory. One reason I wanted to bring you this story. Orcas are doing this on purpose because you get something out of abusing others, which is in the next article we're talking about that we're going to read about the submarine. Memes ridiculing victims. That's where we come to. I'm glad I'm no longer allowed on Twitter. They had it coming. They deserved it. Who's stupid enough to pay <laughs> quarter million dollars for a ride in a tin cane offered by video game controller? Some say this tidal wave of cynical sentiment to bad jokes is this word here I've never heard, which means pleasure people get by celebrating others' misfortune. Okay, pause right there. Many things to say here. And then, as we scroll down, I have nothing to say but eat the rich. <laughs> in these 10 years i've been making youtube videos this this kind of synchronicity happens to me a lot hardly anyone talks about here in the u.s we have these extreme politicians on the republican side and they're always humiliating themselves and all this but every time they go on tv and humiliate themselves and they go on their social media and see that their likes and shares Followers are up, and therefore also their money's up. My last video, I see the rating. It's all thumbs up. Do you ever see a video before they got rid of the thumbs down? Did you ever see a video with no thumbs down? This one's got no thumbs down. 